a thread by Brian Cates. The anonymous sources who spent three days whispering from the shadows to various media outlets that the FBI was limiting its investigation of Hunter Biden's laptop solely to determining if it was Russian disinformation were absolute shit. That's it. That's the tweet. And if you think it was just mainstream media outlets that instantly seized that false narrative and ran with it, you have a very short memory. If you only listened to on-the-record sources in news reports instead of anonymous sources engaging in confirmation bias leaks, you would not be getting confused. How many times have I said, be very skeptical of anonymously sourced claims, but people want to believe so you're going to have to accept that even much of conservative media is now filled with people using anonymous sources to feed confirmation biases are often in error, never retract and move on to the next story, rinse, repeat. It's not that they can't learn from their mistakes or are dumb. They have a business model that works. Constant confirmation bias affirmation in their reporting draws the attention of more people. It's not about truth. It's about what works. And confirmation bias works. If I wanted, to just sit around and stroke people's confirmation biases all day. You think I couldn't do that and be immensely successful at it? Instead, I end up spending about half my time debunking conservative media that is increasingly relying on anonymous fake leaks. What happens is some big conservative website runs an attention-grabbing, shopping-for-clicks headline. You open it. It links back to the anonymously sourced story in the New York Times or CNN. But now, something else is cropping up. Now, some of these big conservative websites are claiming to have their own anonymous sources familiar with the matters. And I've watched these sites step on their own dicks repeatedly in the past few months when their sources, the anonymous sources, were wrong. Did they retract? No, they did not. Did they out the anonymous sources that misled them? No, they did not. You do not reveal a bad source from the past who fed you wrong info if you plan on using them again in the future. Everybody just agrees, hey, no harm, no foul. And everybody just moves on to the next story, the next news cycle, where it happens all over again. Listen up. I didn't spend 20 years fighting the DNC media's corrupt practices in its delivery of news just to look away and pre pretend not to see it when lazy, incompetent, dishonest people at conservative media outlets started doing the same crap. So get used to it. Some guy with W-A-R for his initials got over 35,000 retweets and a bunch of followers for one tweet claiming there is video of Hunter abusing, raping small Chinese kids. If it works and keeps working, it only makes sense to keep doing it if all you care about is what quote unquote works. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.